everyone. Stephen Clark here and friends. How you all going with this fun-filled coronavirus planet at the moment? Don't forget to wash your hands and practice social distancing. I've been doing that all my life. That's why I got no friends. Anyway, what do we got today? Well, the ties have the answer. Glow glitters as cash-strapped ties sell jewelry amid coronavirus 19 pandemic. Can you blame them? Gold's hit an all-time high. A look around Southeast Asia and what is making the headlines? Not enough money? Thailand's Prime Minister Priyat slashes three months relief program. He forgot to check his bank. He doesn't have enough in it. Thailand's Prime Minister Priyat Achinatat has decided to slash the three-month relief program to the Thai nationals who don't have work because of the Chinese coronavirus shutdowns. Bangkok. Prime Minister Priyat Chinachat on Wednesday said that the government may be able to pay only one month of the promised three-month cash relief package for workers affected by the Chinese coronavirus pandemic. The government had earlier planned to give a 5,000 baht cash handout to temporary contracts and self-employed workers who are not covered by the social security system for the three consecutive months. Beginning this April, officials said the program might even be extended for six months if the pandemic doesn't subside. But speaking to the media after the cabinet meeting this afternoon, Priyat said the government is struggling to secure funds for the next round of handouts. I feel sympathetic and sorry for the people, Priyat said. I have to admit that the government had initially planned to allocate the 50 billion baht budget to help 3 million people for three months. He went on, but since more than 9 million people signed up for the program, the government could only give it for one month to cover all the affected people. Prime Minister Priyat said he would propose slashing 10% of each minister's budget, pushing a 1 trillion baht loan bill into the parliaments to help prop up the funding program. However, he did not expect these solutions to arrive anytime soon. Prime Minister Priyat said, therefore, we have to enact a bill to support relief programs for the people. Please don't be worried. We are doing our best to take care of the Thai people, Prime Minister Priyat Chinachat said. Johnny Siam reporting. COVID-19 is all across the news. As we know, it's virtually affected every country in the world. There's been good and there's been some not so good. But on the bright side, Princess Platek has set up a fund to aid Thai hospitals and healthcare providers. The fund will provide medical equipment and supplies. Also, the King and Queen have donated ventilators and other medical equipment to support the COVID-19 relief fund. With the best practice in the battle against the COVID-19 virus, social distance and lockdowns are proving to make a difference, but not all think the same. 32 caught in Pattaya for violating lockdown rules and regulations. Some people don't learn. Maktahan, eight caught violating the lockdown and curfew, including the local magistrates, daughters. The world is the same problem. And again, some think that they are above the laws and restrictions put in place to help protect us all. Philippines, three governors, two mayors have been charged with show cause for the violating of restrictions and curfews. Also, Myanmar, two pastors have been prosecuted for defying the ban on religious gatherings. So it seems to be most countries distancing people, telling people to stay at home. It doesn't get through to everybody. Lao, Lang Prabang have scaled down the Pi Mai Festival. Pi Mai Lao, the same as the Thai New Year, have scaled it right down. And alcohol bans, the same as Thailand. Philippines banned the sale of alcohol and congregating. But not everybody gets it. Anyhow, there's been some very interesting and novel approaches to the social distancing and social gathering. Indonesia, the island of Java, have used a very interesting tactic to discourage the social gathering by hiring actors to dress as ghosts and jump out and scare people so they run home and stay indoors. Very interesting approach. Yet, once again, tourists don't care or just haven't got the mental capacity. Indian officials 
forced 10 tourists to write the word sorry 500 times for breaking the bans over there. But China doesn't seem to mind. With the rest of the world in lockdown, the Chinese Communist Party is full steam ahead with its unlawful takeover on the islands in the South Philippine Sea. As we know, the world isn't happy in the fact disgusted as what has happened. Myanmar's cardinal has come out and said that China must compensate the world. I think the world agrees with him. The Thai government has opened registration for free, yes, free mobile internet from Friday. Now that's a positive thing. And also on another positive thing, the Thai government is embarking on digital learning TV so to kick off some of the students studying from home and once again sticking with the social distancing. Others have been hard at work promoting Thailand. Patia, a US pornographer, said he was helping tourists. The pornographer said the girls flocked to his door to be filmed and were very willing and well compensated. So it seems like everybody was happy. Maybe we might see some footage on that. Also, as we know, the long arm of the law can reach out anywhere. An Australian man has been arrested in Cha Chang Sao for extradition on child sex charges. He had been living there with a Thai woman and her family for over five years. Johnny out. The gold glitters as cash trap ties sell jewelry because of the Chinese coronavirus outbreak. Ties love two things, their mobile phones for taking selfies and gold. Ties are flocking to Bangkok's Chinatown to sell their gold jewelry as the price of precious metal spikes caused through the Chinese coronavirus pandemic. A virtual lockdown has taken root for a fortnight. Hundreds of ties have flocked to Chinatown in Bangkok to sell their family fortunes such as bracelets, necklaces or cash as local gold prices jump more than 20%. And why? Gold surged to a seven-year high on Tuesday to US $1,731.25 an ounce, following global moves led by the US to reinflate economies with trillions of dollars of stimulus measures. One Thailand shop bought 20 million baht, US 6.1 million, of ornaments, gold bars, watches, you name know it, it was gold, it was sold. The shop's owner explained that businesses whose revenue have been struggling by the lockdown being forced to sell their gold savings. Their businesses are in bad shape. Better to sell gold and keep the cash, he said. He also said, in over 60 years, I've never seen people queue like this to sell their gold. Thailand's economy is forecast to contract by more than 5% this year after the Chinese coronavirus shattered borders, killing the cash cow tourist industry, leaving millions unemployed. The government has advised people to hold off on selling their gold because many shops will start facing liquidation problems. If this continues for a week, most gold shops will have to shut down temporarily, but it will have a great effect on many players in the gold industry, especially the stock exchange.